Hi, my name is Basrat, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can rapidly create AngularJS applications using TypeScript. We have a very basic application over here. I'm referencing the Bootstrap CSS file as well as the Bootstrap JavaScript file. Additionally, I'm referencing the jQuery JavaScript file as well as the AngularJS JavaScript file. I have loaded a reference to angular.d.ts, which I downloaded from Definitely Typed. As usual, the source code will be available on GitHub and the links will be in the description. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my grunt environment. I already have grunt CLI installed, so I have access to the grunt command on the command line. Now I'm going to create a new package to JSON file. I'm going to specify my dependency for grunt and grunt.ts and install these using npm. You can see the node underscore modules folder. Now I'm going to create a grunt file which will hold my grunt configuration. I'm going to copy over the configuration from grunt.ts. I'm going to specify a default task and set up a dev target for TypeScript. I'm going to modify this target to point to the app directory. It is going to compile all my TypeScript files as well as create TypeScript variables for all my HTML file content, create a reference file, merge all my TypeScript files into a single output file, and watch the directory for changes. I'll remove the remaining options since the defaults are fine for me. Now I'm going to start up Grunt and leave it running in the background. You can see that it already created a reference file as well as a single output JavaScript file for us. I'm going to add this file to the index.html. Now I'm going to add a main TypeScript file. I'm going to add a reference to reference.ts I'm going to create an angular module and load this module via the ng app debug it to make sure that everything works and no errors are shown on the console. I will leave Chrome running onto the side and I will be able to see compilation errors over here. Now let's create a controllers module. I'm going to create a folder for that and create a new TypeScript file called controllers. I'm going to add a reference to reference.ts I'm going to create a new module called controllers. I'm going to add a dependency for controllers in my main app. Now one thing to note is that you can order the files that are being generated in reference.ts. You always want main.ts to be the last file. I'll move that to the bottom. And you want the controllers to be the second last file. And I'll move it into position. Now I'll create a new controller. I'll call it main controller. I'm going to create a TypeScript module for all my controllers. I'm going to create a class for my main controller and export it from the module. 
it will have one property called message and within the constructor I'll accept the scope and I'll, I'll expose this as a view model on the scope now I will in one go register all my controllers that are present within the application now I will go to my index.html and specify the controller at the root level and expose a property from this controller now let's examine this workflow a bit more let's just create a new controller now all that we will need to do is create a new TypeScript file let's just call it test controller and within that expose a class from the TypeScript controllers module I'll just create a member variable called message, expose foo from it, and expose an instance of the class on the view model property of the scope. And that's all I need to do in order to create a new controller. And to use it, all that I need to do now is modify my HTML and refer to this via its name. and I can show this property and it just works and the reason this works is because we are registering all the classes of our TypeScript module at its controllers and since we are doing this at the bottom of reference.ts this means that any new controllers are already defined for us as they automatically get added between grunt start and grunt end now we can just create controllers without any boilerplate angular.js code now let's see how we can quickly create services I'm going to create a services folder and create a new TypeScript services file to contain our Angular services module. I'm going to add a reference to reference.ts. I'm creating the Angular services module and storing it as a TypeScript variable. Now I want this variable to be available in all my services. So that I can register them. So I'm going to move this to the top. Now I'm going to add a dependency for the services module to my main module. I'm going to create a new service now. I'm going to call this log service. And all that I need to do is create a TypeScript class I'm exposing a simple operation and I'm going to delegate this to console.log now I'm going to register this class as a service with Angular and I can do that as a services module is available to me as a variable and that's it I've registered a new service I'm going to use this service in my main controller. All that I'll do is specify the name that I registered with Angular as well as the class type for TypeScript. And I get type safety as well as intelligence for this service. Just logging out something to the console. And if I run this, you can see the log message. Now let's have a look at directives. I'm going to create a directive for my directives. I'm going to call it directives and add a new TypeScript module similar to the way I did it did for services. And I'm going to call this directives. Paste that in, refactor it. So I've made this variable available. I'm going to open up reference.ts and move it to the top so that it's always defined. 
we need to add a dependency for the directors module now we are all set to quickly create directives I'll just create a new directive call it test me I'm going to add a reference to reference.ts and I'm going to use the directives module variable that we exposed to define a new directive I'll call it test me and I'm going to define the directive function I'm going to strongly type it I'm going to restrict it to EAC which is elements, attributes and classes and I'm going to define a very simple template a div that contains the message hey and that's it you should be able to use it right now I'll just use it in my index.html and if I debug this page you should see a new div containing the message hey over here one thing to note is that the HTML is actually defined as a string within our template property you could use the template URL but that introduces a network request and if you want to use a template cache then you still need to figure out a way to load your HTML as a string so I'm just creating a new HTML file and I'm going to paste the contents of the template and I'm going to save this file I'll get a TypeScript variable same as the file name so it will be testme.html and that will be the text content of this HTML and the way this works is that there's a TypeScript file created for that HTML file by Grunt.ts and if I open this file up you can see the contents and if I modify this HTML file the TypeScript file will update itself and you can see the updated view as well now let's look back at the current file to solidify our understanding of how all this works so we have the source property which lists all our TypeScript files we have the HTML property which specifies the HTML files for which you want TypeScript variables and files to be created then we have the reference file property which contains references to all our TypeScript files so that we do not need to cross reference TypeScript files additionally it orders our TypeScript files for us then we have the out property which merges all the generated JavaScript into a single file and it's ordered by the order in the reference file and finally we are watching our app directory for changes in addition to this Grunt.ts supports all the important compiler flags as well before we leave let's have one final look at what we've achieved to create a new controller all that we do is create a new file and export the class as a member of a TypeScript module to create a new directive we create a new file and register the directive with angular and for the HTML of the directive we just create a new HTML file and that becomes available to us as a strongly typed TypeScript variable finally for services we just create a new class and register it as a service with angular in short you are free to use your own folder structure and once you have it defined you can very quickly add new controllers, services, directives and filters Grunt.ts can manage all your TypeScript files and merge them in order into a single JavaScript file it can generate TypeScript variables for your HTML partials which again saves you from having to worry about relative paths or single file creation as usual if you like this video click like, share and subscribe take care, bye